Hi everybody. In this video, I am going to be going from Baton Rouge to New Orleans via the Mississippi River, which is one of those things when I first learned this kind of seemed kind of strange because I always thought of the Mississippi as going north and south and Mississippi, Baton Rouge and New Orleans are basically east-west of each other, but New Orleans is actually quite a bit south of Baton Rouge also. It's not so obvious when you drive it, but when you look at it on a map, it's a little more apparent. So we're going to be starting here, so that's what I'm going to get the uh, Latin Longs, copy them to my clipboard. Let me do that, and I'll go ahead and get Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let me close my iClone stuff. Sorry, I was just making a little kick the can. This image here is what I consider a U.S. monetary policy. Probably most governments, but U.S. for sure. We'll just call this uh, U.S. monetary policy. Sorry, I was just kind of playing around. That's just an image right there, but I, I like that picture right there. I don't think that was Flight Simulator. I was looking at that. I think that was uh, a stock photo that I bought. I'll have to look and see. I buy a lot of stock photos for things like that. Okay, so we've got this on our clipboard. We are now back in, okay, this is paint.net of that same image. No, I don't need all that stuff. I always keep too much stuff open. Okay, so now, and I don't need that. Sorry, I'm just trying to make it work. When I tab away, the less stuff I have, the easier it is. So now we're ready to start. Okay, so have this on our clipboard, minimizing this. It's pouring down rain. Not pouring, but it's raining. So I don't know if you can hear the rain, but that's kind of why I'm just making a lot of videos today, and I can't go jogging, and my dog's not happy, but that's what we're, that's what's going on today. So at least I've got the internet and tools, to, toys to play with. So I'm gonna type in our little search, and this will get us Baton Rouge. I'm gonna say set as departure. This is the part I wish. I know you can go into development mode and change that to start. I wish you could start on the ground, but we can find that bridge. Oh wait, well that's fine. I was gonna set the uh, the end position, but it didn't really matter for this. Okay, and now this is gonna take just a second, so probably guess I can just sit here and do 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 do. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm gonna get a drink. But I'm just curious how uh, this little trip will work. I did a trip yesterday, and I started to... Re I recorded it, actually, but it was a 30-minute, 30 30-mile 30 trip, and I did it in, like, I don't know, five minutes, so I decided not to put it... It wasn't that exciting of a trip, but I'm hoping this one will be a little bit more exciting, but I doubt they're going to have alligators along our route, so who knows. Louisiana is not the alligator capital, but... Florida would be my okay we're gonna just go straight down sorry let me get on the ground sorry and my computer's froze up here I'm trying to I'm hitting it on eight I'm trying to oh I know it's I'm in a I didn't mean to be in this dang it I'm in a uh, I was trying to take a picture usually I use a Cessna and I was trying to take a picture somebody posted on Twitter that was kind of neat so let me see. Let me control shift F1. It's so hard to get the 787 on the ground. 2500. Okay. I'm about to get back over there, but I know where that is. So. Alright, sorry. Crash. Perfectly good airplane, but I'm on the ground. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that was the on the ground. Now to the showcase camera drone. We'll give us some speed for a few minutes. We shouldn't be too far away. Let me make sure. Let's see if we can. I think we're just right over there. I'll get us some drone speed for just a second. Okay, here's our, I believe this is I-10 right here. And in real life, 
if there is a casino boat somewhere right around in here but okay so this is the where we're starting I'm gonna go down here and this is the Mississippi River we're under the bridge that bridge is kind of floating but that's okay we're gonna go up a little bit because it's a little better uh, or a little easier to navigate and you can kind of see a little bit more not a lot to see along this route but we'll try to see uh, we might look back at the map a couple of times see if I can kind of tell where we're at like by some of the turns going on so the river does I, I found this bicycle route that goes along this it says it's about 88 miles or something like that and we're probably not going to go we're probably going to go like as a crow flies over some of this so it probably won't take us near as long so sorry I was just showing you what we're stopping for I mean that's why I may stay up a little bit because like this kind of stuff I mean it's I could follow the river but see there's the I think that might that's either the road that's probably just a road because there's supposed to be a bicycle route on the west and east banks of this which this thing goes north and south also so I guess they just mean there's pathways on both sides and that's why I'm gonna go a little bit straighter because kind of silly to go all the way over there and come right back over here rivers remind me of government it's like the least efficient way you could ever do anything is the way a river runs where a line is the shortest distance between two points a river is not the the furthest but it sure is a uh, inefficient if rivers had to pay by the by the mile it'd be very expensive Yeah, I can't tell if that road is a car road or if that, I guess that's a car road, the way that's looking in real life, though, that could just be the pathway. Okay, so we've got more. This thing just goes back and forth. I'm going to go to live. I'm gonna see what, I don't know what the weather's like in Louisiana. We'll see if it's the same type of weather I'm imagining, but... Okay, it's a little more realistic. Since you got the rain sound, you probably can't pick up, my microphone probably doesn't pick up the rain, but I can hear the rain pretty, uh, quite a bit. I'm looking forward to three days from now, the snow and ice step update is gonna be out on December 22nd, so that should be pretty cool for Christmas. Give us something to go play with, some new toys. Okay, the river's kind of over here. Sorry, I'm just kind of, I realize we're supposed to be on a canoe, but we're in a drone, so we're taking advantage of just looking around. See, there's the river, it goes all the way over there. Okay, we are starting to head a little bit more east at this point, so I'll kind of turn. So that probably puts us, let's look at our map just to see our little progress. Yeah, we're probably, I'm just guessing we're coming up on, could be here too. Planker, Plankerman, never heard of that. Been to Louisiana a bunch, never heard of that. I think I've heard of Donaldsonville, I don't know about the other one there. I don't do a lot of traveling in Louisiana anymore. Used to. When I had a casino tour company, I used to chase buses for a living. Okay, this is probably that, uh, one of those little towns. Another little bridge going over that. Cars going to the end of nowhere there. I'm 
Try to see what our river is doing up ahead. Just trying to look at that little house as we went by. It's down the river. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not. Just a little shorter, not going the river path. Looking like it's going very east now, so. This little town here. This is kind of populous here. I don't think we're all the way. You know, Metairie is a little bit north, but there's some other other little places. We're getting kind of populous though, so I wouldn't doubt it if we're already on the outskirts of New Orleans. top of the house's view here. Okay, that I bet is Lake Pontchartrain right there. I think. Let me go look at our map, sorry. Yeah, that's Lake Pontchartrain. So we are already somewhere in this range. So we're coming up to Kenner, that's what I was trying to think of. Kenner was the place that... Oh, here's Metairie, so we are going to go through Metairie. Okay, so I was thinking Metairie was up a little bit. So yeah, we're coming up. I used to play pool in Metairie when I would go to New Orleans. And there was a funny story because I happened to ever I was talking to this um, a waiter at a restaurant when I was in New Orleans and somehow I heard him mention to another I guess customer or another maybe another employee about a place called side pocket and being a pool player I heard this place called side pocket and I go is there any action there and he goes yeah and I, was, you know, I told him I was trying to make some money and we're sitting there having this pretty not long conversation but about a minute into the conversation and we finally both realized that side pocket was a gay bar but the the conversation for a pool player looking for action means you know I'm looking for somebody to play for money and he's like talking about you know they're talking about hooking up or other things just a funny conversation of how a uh, two different meanings for a place because there's lots of I've been in probably 10 pool halls named side pocket or corner pocket around the country you know there's lots of little places like that and it's it was just a funny conversation because it wasn't like we both figured this out in the first uh, I just tilt something and went sideways I didn't mean to hate it when I do that yeah I think that was it but anyway that's that first bridge I was going to show you let me show you back here where I think we're at right now sorry this is a really short uh I think we are at this bridge, and my plan, okay, that's 310, that's their loop, I guess, and my plan was to go to the, right in here, or here, actually, is where the uh, the Lake Pontchartrain Bridge comes out. So that was my plan, so let's, we'll keep going for just a second. I don't think we're there yet. I think that's, uh, let me turn the drone just for a second without moving. Where's our... Okay, where's our lake? There's our lake. Oh, actually, that's it right there. Well, that's kind of cool. We're all over. This is the clouds. <laughs> Just take a short trip above the clouds for a second. Sorry, I haven't been up in the clouds all day. Okay. That was your uh, drone trip in the clouds. Somewhere up here, 
there's supposed to be this uh, giant and all that goose story, but it's been a while since I've heard that. I'm gonna take that screenshot, if y'all don't mind. That's kind of a neat little, uh, while we're up in the clouds. Hadn't been in the clouds in quite a while. Okay, okay, so sorry we're back here. So it looks like, from what I can tell, we might already be, I mean, thought we were like already in New Orleans really quickly. Why am I drawing? Oh, there, sorry, we were, my number lock key was not locked. Okay. I don't know where, oh, there's the bridge. So we're going to go a little bit, maybe that's the bridge. I don't know. We're just going to go a little bit further. This has gone kind of fast, so hopefully nobody minds. And I'm usually talking to myself, and until Google starts charging me for bandwidth, I'm going to keep doing this. The day they do, this will be a last video day, but... Okay, I'm just trying to see where... I mean, those clouds make this, like, really weird. The clouds are really low, because normally it takes a while to go from ground to clouds. Okay, I think... We'll just go back down. I think we got a little ways to go, though, for the... To actually be in there. That, that sure went quick, but... Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. I hate it when I do that. The... the uh, plus and minus keys zoom in and zoom out but sometimes it's not what I meant to do okay yeah we'll go down to our next bridge and then we'll that should be all we have to do but we're in the area so our swamp buggy looking mode which I'm sure there's a swamp buggy within five miles of where this uh, place is in the real world okay there's downtown New Orleans right up ahead and this let me look and see if there's a lake right there hang on no hang on look this way first one it might be further down that way okay We'll just keep going. But we're approaching downtown New Orleans. Or I used to play poker a lot in New Orleans, and that's one of the weirdest accents. Some of the things I've ever heard, and I'll tell you really quickly, one of the funniest things I've ever heard, it was, and this I can't do the accent, so put this guy in this real Cajun accent saying this, but he goes, oh, Thibodeau, we, me and him, he's so honest. We used to play poker on the telephone. I go, I got two pair, and he goes, I fold. You know, so that's that was kind of a funny story this old man said about calling somebody else honest. So the, the other person wasn't at the table, but they all, everybody else at the table apparently knew him. But whoever Thibodeau was, I don't know if that was the real name, but it was funny, whatever he said. Every time I go to, I used to go to Papa Do's, even though I don't eat seafood, one of my friends did. So we'd go to Papa Do's and... I always had a waiter named Thibodeau, even though I'm sure his real name was Paul or something. But Okay, so this is downtown New Orleans, and somewhere in this area is the French Quarter in Harris, which is, we're not going to go to it, but this is where I used to uh, play a lot of poker. Somewhere in this area, if I could find it. It's pretty uh, dense, but that was our really trip, short trip through... Uh, from Baton Rouge to New Orleans. I just love the geography. I mean, I already knew this lesson, but the the geography value of, I've learned more in, I turned 52 in a couple of days, and I've learned more in the last two or three months playing this game about geography than my entire life prior. So I knew a little bit you know, prior, but this has got me down into a lot of little detail of things that I didn't know and a lot of rivers I didn't know about. Well, just briefly, I've never, I haven't spent much time in New Orleans, so we'll, while we're here, we'll see if we can, I'll just let me slow my drone, drone speed down. Sorry, this has been a short, uh, fast video, so. And we weren't even on, I'm uh, not Zoom, sorry. We were on 100%. I was thinking we weren't on, but yeah, we went really quickly there. But just these models, the fact that this game can create all this on the fly is like, you know, I don't know. Gaming has driven, gaming and porn have probably driven 
more uh, advances in computers than business, which is kind of weird, but let this truck run us over. But it is, you know, a lot of, there were a lot of things that the porn industry, I'm not sure we'd have all the YouTube video stuff we do if it wasn't for porn, which is, I had a company a long time ago I worked at, and we used to have this guy in California that if we had clients in California, we would have him do it because it was a, you know, it would take one of us three or four hours to fly out there. So, and the guy, one day we called him up and he's like, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm making 150000 a month off this porn site. I can't help you guys anymore. So, I was like, damn, I need to, I'm in the wrong business. Okay, and now we're, this is the end of this video. I was just cruising around for just one final second before I turn it. We'll go back to the river. So. New Orleans is a very interesting town. I've never had any problems myself too much, but it's just you get a lot of drunks and you have a lot of the inner parts got a lot of poverty and stuff, and it's kind of a weird. Uh, this is kind of neat through here. I've never. Let's see if I can go down a little bit. Sorry, just get distracted, but we'll just go right there. See if I can get back to the river is what I was trying to end the video on. I know I can find it if I... Okay. That looks like some hotel. And we're back at the river. Well, thanks for flying with us today. Hope you enjoyed your short little tour of New Orleans. Baton Rouge to New Orleans via the Mississippi River. This is a little more... Got some of the older parts of New Orleans, which New Orleans has got a lot of disparity of rich and poor. It's a kind of kind of weird city, but I almost moved there a couple of times because I used to play a lot of poker, but I'm glad I didn't because it's got, it's got its own share of issues, but every place does. All right, well, I'll end the video right here. Thanks for watching.